Lesson thirteen. Study. Most children begin their studies at five or six years old in preschool, followed by kindergarten. After that comes primary school or elementary school, which consists of first grade through fifth grade. Then there's middle school, sixth grade through eighth grade, and high school, which is ninth grade through twelfth grade. After high school, you apply to colleges or universities to see which ones will accept you. You send in or submit your application and then wait for the results. If you got good grades in high school, you might get or be awarded a scholarship to help pay the tuition, the cost of studying. In college, you'll take classes or courses on various subjects. You should always take notes as the teacher is giving the lecture. Some teachers may ask the students to give or make presentations, or do research and write an essay, an assignment, a report, or a paper. After you hand in your work, the teacher will grade the assignment, give you an evaluation, for example, ninety percent, and give you feedback, comments on your work. To evaluate your progress, you'll take tests or exams. If you get the minimum number of points required, you've passed the test. If you don't get the minimum number of points, you've failed the test. It's also possible to pass or fail a course. If the course proves to be too difficult, or if you don't like it, you can withdraw from or drop the course. Withdraw from is the more formal expression, and drop is the more informal expression. Most college students choose a major or concentration. To talk about a concentration of studies, you can use major as a verb or a noun. For example, I majored in biology. I was a biology major. My daughter is majoring in philosophy. My daughter is a philosophy major. When you graduate from college, you'll get a diploma. Afterwards, you can say you have a degree in the area of your concentration. You can have a bachelor's degree, master's degree, or doctorate, Ph.D. For example, I have a bachelor's degree in chemistry. I have a master's degree in linguistics. I have a Ph.D. in theology. Now listen and repeat to practice the pronunciation of the collocations in this lesson. Apply to colleges or universities. Send in your application. Submit your application. Got good grades. Get a scholarship. Be awarded a scholarship. Take classes. Take courses. Take notes. Giving the lecture. Give presentations. Make presentations. Do research. Write an essay. Write an assignment. Write a report. Write a paper. Hand in your work. Grade the assignment. Give you feedback. Take tests or exams. Passed the test. Failed the test. Pass a course. Fail a course. Withdraw from the course. Drop the course. Choose a major. 
Choose a concentration. Graduate from college. Get a diploma. Have a degree. Have a bachelor's degree. Have a master's degree. Have a doctorate. Have a Ph.D.